hear a lot about the Coastal Command. This is the section of the Royal Air Force that patrols the shores and seas around Britain and nip in the bud any ideas that may be sprouting in the enemy camp. They carry a convincing argument with them. It's the only sort of argument a Nazi understands. Parachutes are examined every two weeks. Every square foot is checked over. Every cord is tested. The chutes are hung up for 48 hours to take out the creases and then repacked. Weather information is an essential need to all pilots. None more so than the Coastal Command. In the course of a patrol many hours long, they may encounter all four seasons, so experts warn them beforehand. The squadron is nearly ready to start out. Last instructions are given by the CO. Well, the job you have this afternoon is to locate and shadow this force here, uh, labeled KG. It has come down these islands and is supposed to be making for one of the French ports along here. But it's quite possible that they'll take shelter amongst these islands. Are we likely to make any air opposition? Well, we just have opposition along the coast, people all the way along, but there's nothing actually reported with the convoy. Crews go aboard for the long patrol. It isn't always exciting work. Often it is just routine watching and reporting. But it's work that is vital and it must be carried out with unflagging keenness and energy. And that's just the way they do it. Air Gunner tests his rude reply to Nazi fighters and they're all set to go. For many reasons it may be necessary to get a message back to headquarters without using wireless. The RAF makes use of pigeons for that purpose. The pigeon may report a new concentration of barges at an invasion port, or a German convoy on the move, or a mass of raiders heading for London. Whatever it is, the Coastal Command takes care of it. Britain's sky sentries on patrol. British Coastal Command Station, crews of an Australian flying boat squadron report for the morning's orders. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Brady. Good morning. Uh, what's the job today? Well, no, we have a job for I've just got details from group. The job this morning is to patrol an area which I will show you on the map in a minute. But you must be back by dusk. I see, yeah. uh, late in the day, the weather is deteriorating. Yes. Uh, we know there are some enemy aircraft vicinity, so you must keep a sharp look out. Yes, I'll watch out. Yeah. All right. Well, now, come over here and I'll show you. You prevent your patrol in that position. You then proceed to there. Yes. And finish your patrol there. Yeah. Yeah, sir. For a day, we are to become a part of this mighty and efficient organization, the wonder of the world, the Royal Air Force. And so we go out to begin the day's patrol. We are privileged to fly in one of the giant Sunderlands, the battle cruisers of the air. Quite a bit of home comfort in a Sunderland. We are able to take a proper meal in the huge cabin at a real table. Hundreds of miles later we sight a convoy, British of course, and all's well. There's a submarine, 
Let's descend and have a closer look. It seems British, but we'd better make sure. Yes, she's British, all right. It's turned out to be an uneventful trip, just a routine flight with no excitement. But it's because of this routine that it is so quiet. While the police are on the job, the burglar goes out of business. Now dusk is falling, and the Sunderland turns her great blunt nose for home. All's well around the coasts of Britain.